Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about a patient population in the Lyme community that has trouble tolerating various treatments, including antibiotic treatments or herbal regimens um, because they have uh, exacerbation of their symptoms with various treatments. This is not a large patient population, but certainly does exist. Uh, and these patients are really struggling because they feel paralyzed and their physicians feel paralyzed uh, as to how to proceed with their treatment because everything that they try is actually exacerbating their symptoms and is making them feel worse. And for this patient population, I'd like them to consider and look into a condition called mast cell activation syndrome. Uh, this is a condition that can be triggered by both infections such as bacterial, um, viral infections, as well as uh, environmental toxins like mold and heavy metal toxicity, among uh, others. And so, uh, in this instance, uh, patients are actually producing uh, too many histamines, prostaglandins, and interleukins, which makes their body react uh, adversely uh, as if they're having an allergy reaction to uh, many different things, including antibiotics, herbs, often various foods, um, and various other treatment protocols that they may be undergoing, uh, including EMF products, uh, electromagnetic field uh, products and devices that can be uh, exacerbating their symptoms. And this is very difficult, uh, as I mentioned, um, and so this is something that one should be looking into with their Lyme literate physician. There are actually mast cell activation specialists or mast cell disorder specialists that you can look into um, who will be able to help you and test you for this specific condition. Uh, the testing is done through urine uh, testing and there's some blood testing as well. And often the treatment will be a taking antihistamines, um, over-the-counter antihistamines such as um, uh, H1 or H2 blockers, uh, and also some prescription uh, medication as well that may be helpful in this instance. Often this is the first step one should take uh, when they're not tolerating treatment for Lyme disease and associated disorders uh, because it helps to reduce the level of inflammation in the body and then ultimately allows the patient to tolerate the treatment protocol uh, that their physician deems appropriate for them. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you will subscribe to my channel to learn more.